You know what time it is? Time for the lunch with Matt Ta- and Matt. No, no, no. Time for lunch with Matt and Matt. Uh, it's time for lunch with Matt and Matt. Uh, we we need to we do need a better intro than that. Yes. So so we we you know we should do one of those contests and have everyone submit you their. You said that last year. Oh. Hey, you want to just talk about stuff? Sure, that sounds good. I saw something this morning, and I think I think I'm going to tell everybody about it. Okay, what did you see? Well, it's a new year, right? It's a new year, and there mm-hmm. there's new things happening. Yes. And uh, it was just Christmas time, and uh, I noticed in uh, our closet that you have some new Converse. I do. I have them on right now. It was. Uh, you can't really show everybody, can you? This is. This is boom. She did it. I did it. That was impressive. I yeah. was worried that all the sound equipment was going to go flying. <laughs> They're awesome. They're really, really sweet. They're really awesome. They covers. are. They're and, multicolored. And it made me think about something. And this, uh, so this is this is New Year. A lot of things going on in the world. And listen, uh, let, can we just acknowledge for a second before we really, really get started that um, we know that there's a lot of craziness going on. And so we decided that for lunch with Matt and Mel, we would just take a little break and talk about some other things. Exactly. Fun well, things well, like my Converse, I guess. <laughs> like your Converse. And they're multicolored. They are. They're right? from my brother. my brother. So they have uh, different colors as it go from one thing to another. They almost look like tie-dyed or something, but they're not. Mm-hmm. They're just awesome. They are. And there's a cool thing that happens whenever you get some sort of new clothing. Now, we are not uh, super big uh, new clothing people. We don't. We don't. I'm still wearing shirts from 94. I mean, it's a, <laughs> it's a thing. I thought I threw them out. Yeah, it's not happening. It's not happening. But you know that feeling when you get a new new piece of clothing or a new something like that. Yeah. And, and we realize that comes from a place of privilege, that there are a lot of folks out there that can't do that. We understand. And we're very blessed to be able to, on occasion, buy a new shirt or new pants or yeah. new shoes or something. But you feel good when you put it on. I like, mean... You're ready for the day. Right. You're excited. It gives you a little like pep and your energy and your and your kind of like your movement feels different. Yeah. Yeah. See, I think about, you know, we, we, we talk about this kind of thing a lot. And of course, we're big uh, into baptism. That's a thing for us as pastors, as ministers in the church, that that's a great yeah. m- moment. And we just celebrated the baptism of our Lord on Sunday and... If you're out there and you know me, especially if you're in middle school, you know I love talking about baptism. Yeah, absolutely. Baptism is the core of who we are and our identity, and I could go on and on and on. You probably could, and maybe you should for just a second. Okay, okay, I can. So baptism is these waters where God is acting. God is at work. God claims us as children of God. God forgives us all of our sins and where God gives us a special gift of the Holy Spirit to be with us wherever we go. It's almost like there's a scripture that would go along really well with that. So we teach this thing up in, uh, up in yeah, I almost said up in North Carolina because we've done it for years and we used to go to North Carolina. We live in North Carolina. We go up to the mountains, up to Lutheridge, and we teach this Faith Alive baptism class. And it's really, really fun because we get a chance to be with kids and do campy kind of stuff. And um, and we uh, we have them read some verses, and this is one of them yes. that the kids actually read when we talk about what baptism uh, yes. means. Um, so if anyone is in Christ, so let me start over. Yeah. 2 Corinthians 5, Come on. verses 17. Come on. So if anyone is in Christ, there is a new creation. Everything old has passed away. See, everything has become new. I feel like you should read it twice. Okay, I yeah. can do that. I, I feel like it just needs one more. So if anyone is in Christ, mm-hmm. there is a new creation. Everything old has passed away. See, everything has become new. So there's like two parts of that verse for me. One part is the um, the very the vastness of how we could have interpreted the Greek, right? Which is that when everyone is in Christ, it becomes a new creation. It's almost like this forward prophetic vision of what happens, right? Is that Jesus came for all of creation, died for all of creation, and and this sort of forward casting of this new creation, this new Adam. And then it's also the individual. Yeah. Right? Becoming new. 
Yeah, being made new. Do, do you remember, there's a thing about Martin Luther. He was, he's a guy that like had some things to say. He did have a lot to about, say. Uh, about faith and life and grace. And I think it was something about washing your face. Yes, so every time you wash your face, uh, remember your baptism. So remember God's action in these waters that are making you anew every single day. Hold up. Every day? Every day. So that would require me to wash my face every day. Yes. That's a whole different yes. thing. Yes. But I, I like to take it a step further than Martin Luther and then say every time you interact with water, touch water, uh, remembering your baptism. So drinking a glass of water, showering, you know, watering your yard, uh, swimming, the list goes on and on and on. Remember what God has done in your life and continues to do. And that you're made new and that the old is gone and the new has come. And I think that's a really special thing for us to remember, especially right now in the midst of craziness of life, in the midst of 2021 coming around, is to remember that you are loved in, in ways that you, 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 you'll you never know, which means that God sees you brand new every single day. Oh my gosh, our dogs just erupted upstairs. There must be something happening. I bet it's the Amazon man. It's probably the Amazon man. <laughs> the, let's let the Amazon man and the dog may have. I don't know if y'all heard that, but that was that was crazy. Welcome to doing church at home uh, in our office here in the basement. Yes. yes. All right. So how about we close in prayer close and then prayer. see what package we got. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Wonderful God. We thank you for those opportunities where we get new clothes wash our face or take a shower we can can remember that you make us new every single day that you claim us as your child and that we are loved and forgiven in jesus name we pray amen amen and we'll just take one more second and do a kind of can we just do a special prayer for all the folks that are having oh, yes upsetness in their hearts and then uh, and then a blessing so i'll pray the prayer and then how about you do a blessing okay sound good and god we come to you also just in addition to the things that we're thinking about and praying about all of this trust in one another and the mayhem in our world and especially the things that we see on the news lord forgive us father for we know not what we do we ask lord that you would be with us and bring peace to our world in jesus name amen, amen. and may the lord bless you and keep you may the lord's face shine on you and be gracious to you may the lord look upon you with favor and give you peace amen. amen and remember in the midst of all this craziness in the midst of all this mayhem you are loved you are loved you are loved and you are not alone blessings and peace you guys we will see you next week Thanks.